This problem gives us a strut, shown in orange in the figure, held in place by two cables and a pin on its lower left corner. The problem asks us to find the tension in each cable and the magnitude and direction of force exerted by the pin on the strut. Let's start by drawing a free body diagram of the box, which is hanging off the vertical cable. Two forces act on that box. Its weight is straight down, and the tension in the vertical cable is straight up. If we sum those forces in the vertical, they equal zero because the box is in equilibrium, and that tells us that the tension in the vertical cable equals the weight of the box, W. Now let me erase this and draw a free body diagram for the strut itself. The forces acting on the strut are the vertical tension pulling down on this end, the tension capital T in the horizontal cable here, the strut itself has weight W, that acts at its center of mass, which is the geometric center. And then there's the force exerted by the pin on the bottom left end of the strut. I'll show its components here, horizontal and vertical. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium and solve for the unknowns. In the horizontal, or x direction, there are two forces, FH and the tension T directed to the left in the negative, summing to zero, and that tells us that the horizontal component of force exerted by the pin on the strut equals the tension T. We don't know the tension, so let's move on and sum forces in the vertical direction. There we have FV, the vertical component of the pin force. We have two weights going down, so minus 2W, those sum to zero, telling us that FV equals 2 times W. Now we can sum torques on the strut, making that equal to zero. Remember that the torque produced by some force has a magnitude, RF sine phi, where R is the distance from the pivot to where the force is applied, and phi is the angle between the R vector and the force. This is also equal to the force times the moment arm D. And that's the method I'll use here, so we'll illustrate the moment arms in a minute. Torque is a vector, and its direction is given by the right-hand rule. Fingers of the right hand in the direction of R, curl them towards F, and the torque points in the direction of your thumb. In this case, it will be either into or out of the screen. We'll call torques out of the screen this way to be positive. And we'll sum torques about point A, the lower left end of the strut. First, let's notice that the two pin forces, FH and FV, exert no torque about the lower left end, about point A, because they both act through that point. They have no moment arms. So the first torque we need to calculate is due to the tension in the vertical cable that has a magnitude of weight W. The direction of this torque is given by the right-hand rule. R vector from the pivot to where the force is applied, fingers curled down towards the weight, and the right-hand thumb points into the screen. That's the direction we're calling negative. The moment arm is the shortest distance between the line of action, this imaginary line through the force, and the pivot. That's at this horizontal distance shown here. Because this is the angle theta, that distance is L cosine theta. So the torque produced by that vertical tension is minus W times L cos theta. Now let's look at the torque produced by the weight of the strut itself. Again, using the right-hand rule, we see that this torque is in the negative direction. The right-hand thumb points into the screen. The force has a magnitude of W, and the moment arm is shown here in blue with a length of L over 2 cosine theta. Last, we need to calculate the torque due to the horizontal tension T. We can draw the R vector from the pivot to the point where that force is applied, curl the fingers towards the force, and now we see that the right hand thumb points out of the screen towards us. That's a positive torque. With a moment arm equal to the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, that's the length of this vertical blue line, we'll call it D, has a length of L sine of theta. So the torque produced by that horizontal tension is the tension T times L sine theta, and all three of those torques sum to zero because the strut is in equilibrium. We can solve this for the tension T, finding that it equals three times the weight W over two tangent of theta, when you substitute theta equals 30 degrees, you find the tension is 2.6 times the weight. So I'll add that number up here. 
Now that we know what the tension is, we also know what the horizontal component of the pin force is. It's also 2.6W. Now that we know the components of the force F, I'll draw them here, we can find its magnitude and direction. The magnitude of the force F we find using the Pythagorean theorem. Square the components, add them up, and take the square root to see that F equals 3.28 times the weight W. The direction of that force can be found using the inverse tangent function. Here's the horizontal and vertical components with the magnitude. I'll call the direction of that force alpha, draw it here and on the figure. Alpha equals the inverse tangent of the opposite side, 2w, divided by the adjacent side, 2.60w. When you calculate that, you find the angle alpha is 37.6 degrees.